We're Grant and Teresa Boggs, and we're on a mission to visit every winery in the Napa Valley. Yes, all 450 plus of them and counting. Along the way, we'll share with you our favorite places to eat, drink, and play in wine country. Let's do it. Today, we're visiting the winery that started it all for the wine industry in California. Welcome to Buena Vista Winery in Sonoma, California. Founded in 1857, Buena Vista is California's oldest premium winery. It's pretty amazing to think that this winery existed before Abraham Lincoln was even president. Buena Vista was founded by Count Augustin Harosti, a Hungarian immigrant. He's known as the father of California wine. He studied winemaking in Europe and used that knowledge to establish his own winery right here in California. And actually, the original winery spanned from Sonoma all the way to Napa. So today, we're checking out how Buena Vista is preserving old traditions and starting new ones. We're starting here in Buena Vista's main tasting room, which dates back to 1857. We booked a reservation for a seated tasting, but you can actually do a standing tasting at the bar or taste outdoors on the patio. You can even bring your dog if you want. But back to the wine. Here's a rundown of all the things we got to taste. First up was a nice welcome splash of bubbly. Next was a 2021 Reserve Chardonnay with notes of vanilla and creme brulee. After that, we had the 2020 Giza's Pinot Noir, grown in the Petaluma Gap AVA. It was very light and had a hint of cranberry. From there, we had the 2020 Reserve Zinfandel, which was my favorite. I love Zinfandel. It tasted like black cherry, blackberry, and blackcurrant with a very subtle peppery finish. We then had a fun side-by-side -side tasting of the 2020 Reserve Cab versus the 2019 Chateau Yontville Cab. Both were delicious, but I'll have to say my favorite ended up being the Chateau Cab. We finished with a special request, a cream sherry. It's multiple layers of wine from different years, combined and fortified. It was so good. Think of a salted caramel frappuccino, but in the form of alcohol. Yum. After our tasting, we headed up to the second level of the tasting room. There's information about the history of the winery, some cool bottles to look at, and a peacock. <coughs> but our day didn't end there. We happened to be visiting on a very special weekend, the cellar sale. We wandered out into the main courtyard and sampled some wine at the tasting bar before checking out the massive clearance sale in the cellar. And guess who we ran into? The Count himself. He was very nice and even showed us the oldest wine cave in California, dating back to 1863. Pretty cool. And to top it off, we got to ride the golf cart shuttle back to the parking lot. Overall, a very fun day. If you like this video, click on our winery playlist right here to see all the other wine country spots we visited so far on our quest to visit all 450 wineries in Napa. See you next time.